Hey guys, I'm Shane Hart, and you're watching the Permanent Rain Press. Ticket summer concert with Shane Hart. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Excited for the show today and your set, of course. Yes, of course. <laughs> so first off, I want to say welcome to BC. I know Thank you. you spent some time in Vancouver mm -hmm. the other day. It's been kind of gloomy, actually. Um, you came on an off day, I guess. <laughs> I've heard that too. I've had a few people tell me it's usually been it's been really nice for the past little while now. All of a sudden, it's rainy. <laughs> Is it your first time in the province? Yeah, it's actually my first time. Um, my first time out west. I've never been on the west coast of the country before so it's really it's really beautiful and different out here it's a lot more fresh air for sure <laughs> and you're gonna get to you know go across the country so Alberta, mm -hmm. Manitoba, is there a stop in Manitoba actually? I know there's seven. Yeah, there's Winnipeg yeah. Okay there we go so let's start off by talking about your music you right. released your debut single Let You Know in May it's been getting a lot of love a lot of buzz on family channel mm -hmm. I know I love watching the music video every time it plays in between shows how much has the support and response meant to you? The support for Let You Know and even just as me as an artist has been has been crazy uh, I didn't expect it to be this big so quick and uh, the fact that I'm here on this tour is speaking volumes so I'm, I'm having a great time and the love is amazing <laughs> When can we expect to hear some new music from you? Well, actually, on this tour, I am performing one of my new singles that's coming out after the tour. So the fans get the first uh, first listen at a track that nobody else who doesn't come to the tour will get be able to listen to. Will there be a corresponding music video for that one as well? Mm, maybe. 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 I'm sure if you just keep watching Family Channel, we'll eventually see something For pop sure. up there. Keep watching. So you've had roles in Good Witch and The Next Step, and of course you'll be starring in Lost and Found Music Studios, mm -hmm. slated to premiere on Family Channel this winter. Yes, yes. You just finished filming season one in July. What can you tell us about the upcoming series and your character? Wow, okay, well the upcoming series is probably one of the most fun sets I've ever been on. Uh, everyone's really great. Basically Lost and Found is, is a bunch of kids that go to this after school music program and, and, and really find themselves, find themselves in music and, and in writing and, and just growing up and growing up together and creating relationships and my character Luke is is all about being a musician and wanting to live that dream of being a career and I think he's very driven and wants the band to do really well and that's basically his goal in life is to just live that life and be a professional musician. And as you mentioned, um, the cast of young performers kind of musicians like yourself, so how much fun was it, you know, behind the scenes on set to be able to be writing, recording music with a lot of like-minded individuals? It was, it was great. I mean, growing up I didn't really have a lot of friends who were into music and writing music and recording, and, and so it was so different and, and amazing to be surrounded by that all the time. And it was just like constant, all day, every day, just, just listening to new music and, and being able to bounce ideas off of people. And the thing that I love about our cast too is that we're all very different in the sense of genres. I mean, not all of us sing the same genre, so it's so cool to listen to someone do something that you can appreciate, and, and it's, it's amazing. We're all we're all very different, and we, but we all still get along. It's it's amazing. Music just brings people together for sure. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that. Hopefully, you know a lot of the connection that the cast have made on set. Mm -hmm. And now I actually had to mention your blue hair, which I'm assuming <laughs> you had to wait until you finished filming yes. season one to get it done. <laughs> Where did that hair inspiration come from? It was something, the blue hair was something that I wanted to do for a little while and um, I just never had the chance to do it. I was filming, I was constantly doing things on TV where I, um, I had to keep my hair a certain way and, and you know for this tour I didn't have that restraint. I didn't have that, um, you know, I didn't have people telling me what I should look like and so I was Creative like... Creative freedom, right? Yes, yes, exactly and so I was just... Let's just do it. Let's just do something completely different and I think it kind of makes me stand out a little bit from you know the other guys in the other bands on the tour and I just kind of wanted to stand out and I think I, uh, I kind of hit it on the head so there we go. Well it looks good. Thank Very you. <laughs> and now we have a couple of funner questions. Who are you listening to on your playlist? Oh who am I listening to right now? Right now I, I just finished watching the Amy Winehouse documentary so Amy Winehouse for sure. Uh, her music's amazing so I've been listening to her non-stop for the past like month. <laughs> Um, there's more artists, keep going. Two or three. Sure, okay, so I listen to Amy Winehouse. Uh, the 1975 is always in my playlist, they're one of my favorite bands of all time. And I've also started listening to uh, a band, they're called Paris, 
Uh, they recently, <laughs> they yes. are like, my girlfriend is obsessed with them and I'm actually going to go see them perform in um, the fall, so I, I love them and I'm kind of sad I didn't get to see them at Warped. But yes, we're going to say, I'm pretty sure there was a date back east in Toronto, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. They're one of my favorites right now, for sure. And lastly, if you could be any ice cream flavor, which would you be oh, and why? If I could be any ice cream flavor. Okay, well my favorite has always been mint chocolate chip, so I'm going to say mint chocolate chip. It's my favorite of all time. <laughs> okay, that's it. So we like to, I want to thank you for taking time to yeah, chat with us. Course. And could you end the interview by staring at the camera with your best sassy face? My best sassy face. <laughs> I think, I, I've never done a sassy face before, I think that might have been it. <laughs>